It's your boy the Hot Rodster here and today we're going to be logging in another entry to the Quirk Registry by examining the Quirk Blood Curdle. Blood Curdle is an emitter quirk that allows the user to paralyze their victim. This quirk's user is the popular villain Chizom Akaguro, who is more commonly known as the hero killer Stain. He was able to use this quirk to easily catch multiple heroes off guard and end them. The name of this quirk comes from combining two words to make a new compound word. Blood is obviously the red liquid that exists inside of all of humans, and it's included in the name of this quirk because blood is a vital component of how it all works. Curdle is a verb that the Oxford Dictionary defines as to separate or to cause to separate into curds or lumps. This definition doesn't really have much to do with the quirk's function or usage, however the phrase make one blood's curdle means to fill that person with horror. It could also mean to cause them to be afraid or disgusted. Therefore, this name may not completely describe the function of this quirk, but it would give one the impression that Stain is a horrifying and disgusting person. It could also imply that his victims are paralyzed out of horror, even though that isn't necessarily how this quirk works. Stain can paralyze people by ingesting their blood. In case you don't know, paralysis is a loss of motor functions in one or more muscles. It's not just having so much pain in an area of the body which makes it hurt too much to move. It's also not just a great weight in an area that if one is strong enough to overpower, they can. It's more like the nervous system gets damaged so signals don't transmit properly between the brain and the body. I didn't think that I'd have to explain that, but I recently got into an argument with someone who knew nothing about paralysis, so I made Nature to include a bit of that for this entry. The amount of blood doesn't really matter. It could be less than a teaspoon or more than a gallon. The paralysis would still take effect. There is no known range and so it has to be assumed that the range is infinite. Hypothetically, if Stain was on the other side of the planet and he had a sample of your blood, he could paralyze you by eating it. However, the current maximum amount of time his victims can be paralyzed is 8 minutes, so there wouldn't be any practical purpose for doing that. That 8 minute limit may not be set in stone though. It's possible for quirks to get stronger as the user hones them, so maybe it's possible for the paralysis to last longer as well. Also, the amount of time for paralysis depends on the blood type. B lasts for the longest amount of time, AB is shorter, and A is even shorter, while O represents the shortest amount of time. This represents a pretty big weakness because O is the most common blood type while B is one of the least common blood types. In the United States, O represents 45% of the population, while B represents represents 11%. The distribution of blood types vary across the world, but even in Japan, type O is the second most common right behind type A. And I'm pretty sure I don't have to remind you that those are the two types that are affected for the shortest amount of time. So the drawback to this quirk is that the time one would remain paralyzed is unpredictable since he can't control their blood type. This quirk's abilities are very unique compared to others. For most quirks that affect people, something has to be done to that person in order for it to take effect, but that isn't the case for this one. Sure, Stain has to ingest the victim's blood, but he doesn't have to get it himself and it doesn't even have to be fresh. He doesn't even have to eat the blood in front of his target, so it's not like psychological manipulation going on either. This may be a bit confusing, but to sum it up, some quirks like Midnight actually have to interact with their target in order to take effect. However, Blood Curdle doesn't require that level of interaction. Compared to other quirks, it might as well just be magic. It's also possible that we don't have enough information about how this quirk functions, so there may be more to be discovered. Like I mentioned earlier, this quirk was used by the hero killer, Stain, in order to kill all of those he deemed to be false heroes. He trained himself to be fast, strong, and have a lot of stamina so that he could continue fighting even when his body was pushed to the limit. He learned how to use a variety of blades as a tool to easily extract blood from his victims before paralyzing them. Stain usually tries to get heroes alone so no one can interfere because things get more complicated when more people get involved. He would have to paralyze more people which would take more time to accomplish and since the time of the paralysis is often unpredictable, he can't waste a lot of it. Not to mention, if he gives his opponents too much time, they would figure out how his quirk works and defeat him. Looking at how much he's trained, I'd say he probably made the most efficient use of his abilities. A miscellaneous fact about this quirk, Stain's nose or lack thereof isn't due to his quirk or any other mutation. He has no nose because he cut it off after a vigilante broke it. And a truly useless fact is that the shape of his tongue may not be a mutation from his quirk, but rather a genetic mutation that passed down from one of his parents. This is definitely one of the most terrifying quirks in this series. It is very unique and the user used it in such an effective way that he was able to take on fully fledged heroes. It's a quirk that I probably wouldn't want for a few reasons. To start, I don't think it would be very practical for me. 
I probably wouldn't put in the effort to actually take someone's blood like Stain does. Not to mention, I'm not evil, well, at least not to your knowledge. So I don't think I'd want to use things like knives or blades to take my opponent's blood. In my hands, this quirk would just go to waste, which only solidifies how committed Stain was. And with that, I think we can officially commit Blood Curdle to the quirk registry. If you like this video, consider watching another one. I talk about a variety of different topics on this channel, mostly my hero right now, so I hope to see you there. This has been the Hot Rodster. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.